Good morning, Tubi Ubers, and welcome to Paper Crafts by Cindy Ellen. I have a helper this morning. Pascal is going to eat my glue. There we go. So he's going to help me in this amazing mermaid hop. There you go. Uh huh. So he's not really eating the glue. I just want you to know that. What he does is he likes to take the pin out and then play with the pin. There he goes. Watch him do this. Ready, set, yeah. So this is take two of my filming this, this video because for some reason my camera came off. So let me show you the card I made because uh, it's already made, so I'm not gonna make another one. So this is my mermaid card. Isn't she beautiful? I really like her. So let me tell you how I made her. I started with a piece of Crafter's Companion dark blue metallic cardstock, which is just gorgeous. Look at that. Wee! I like that. So, and onto that I put some Agapanthus Purple Picket Fence Paper Glaze. This stuff is really cool. I would open the bottle, but I can't open the bottle today because my fingers are not cooperating. So, very cool stuff. And that is this. And then, I don't know if you can see, but into the background I sprinkled a little tiny bit of super fine glitter because you can never have too much glitter. Yeah. Now, the stamps came from a sassy and crafty stamp set called uh, Salty But Sweet. And I love her. She is just so much fun. Uh, she's so much fun. I've used her in two hops now. So there she is, and I love this crab. He's adorable, and I'll show you there. Um, I, one of the things I really like about Sassy and Crafty, Beth does a great job with her illustrations, and um, her illustrations are always nice and big, so that those of us who have hand problems, what'd you do with your pin? That, no bite, no bite. Um, it is that they're, they're, they don't have lots of tiny little spaces so that those of us who have hand problems can really color them in nicely. So I really like that. They're, uh, they're at a good price point. They're nice. I really like the font she uses. They're well to, good to read. Um, <coughs> excuse me. They have a really good, um, she has a really wide selection of images, flowers, and nice animals. Not a lot of really cutesy stuff, but also cutesy stuff. Um, I, I just really like her stuff. She's got great people that are realistic, a, a wide variety of people, so it's diverse. So I like that. So go look at Beth, sassy and crafty. By the way, this is the way that I store my um, stamps. I take the um, regular package that they come in. I take the back, I um, uh, double side tape it to the uh, packaging that it comes in and then I put it in a new envelope uh, so that it's good to go. So then I have it just like that. So and there are my little masks and this is how I made this set of uh, this little heap of shells that my lovely mermaid is on top of. I put, um, stamped the things I wanted in front first, made some masks. Obviously, I needed some uh, flower masks, more flower masks than anything else, and more of these masks than anything else. So then when I uh, was had what I wanted of those, then I started stamping the rest of the shells. Um, I'm really happy with the way those came out. These were colored with Arteza Everblend markers. I do know that her skin is uh, glacier blue and powder blue. Her body is sky blue, teal, and turquoise. I do know that these are sunshine yellow and gold to give her crown some depth. And uh, there's not a lot of purples in the set, and that's probably all four purples. In case you were wondering. <laughs> That's just why we call him Meep. His real name is Pascal, but we call him Mr. P. Or the Meep. Oh, boom. There we go. So I really like the 
Sentiments, this is a card I made it for a friend. So on the inside it says, I'm done adulting, let's be mermaids. And look at the cute little crab. So believe it or not, he actually matches her. Those are the same colors uh, that I used for her skin on him. I just used them a little bit darker. I used Versa Magic Turquoise Gem to stamp this out. Um, remember your old inks, they still work and they often match or you can often use them. So that's really good. By the way, the stencil that I used was the Rabbit Hole Designs, um, I don't remember, I think it's called Splash. I don't, I don't remember really. Um, and it's not on here and I don't have the plastic anymore, but I will put the link down below. Rabbit Hole Designs is another company owned by women, by women, Mary Ann Samuelson owns that. And um, I really like their designs as well. I also want to give out a shout out to scrapbook.com. I'm trying their foam for the very first time, their double-sided foam. And uh, one of the things that I found when I was putting this on here was that their foam does not stick to your scissors. Uh, good job, scrapbook.com. So if you're looking for a new foam, and I was because uh, the Burtek foam that I was using just, it was just bad and it got too sticky and it just got really hard to use. So I was looking for a foam that I could use that was not quite as sticky. Um, and this stuff is pretty good. So you get what you pay for. So anyway, this is a hashtag driven hop. So you're gonna go with the hashtag that is below um, to see the other people who are taking part in this hop. This is Lisa Wolf's first hop that she's ever organized and she did an excellent job. So make sure you go to her page and give her some love because we are all proud and happy that she um, invited us to do this. And if you would like to see more of Mr. P and his great crafting, and me, then make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified. And uh, we will talk to you later. Thanks for coming. Bye. Can I, can I have that back? Did I take this time? Can I have that back? Can I, can I have that back?